Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk a little bit about third down efficiency. Now, the Baltimore Ravens shut down the Houston Texans passing game. They completely obliterated their rushing game, but the, the key factor to me is what they did to them on third downs. Third down, you know, if you follow the channel, is a down that I think is very important, very crucial to win the game. And even though both teams were four for 12 or 25 percent at, at third down, the way the Ravens shut theirs down because their third downs was coming on almost like three and outs. Our third downs may have came later on in the drives and where we got field goals or went for it on fourth or whatnot, or even punted sometimes. But just to completely destroy them on their third downs, which happened early in almost every series, I want to take a look at the defense and see what they did to either confuse or just straight up stop the Houston Texans and C.J. Stroud on third downs. So 25% on third downs is what we held them to, which is a great job on money down. And we call that money down because trying to get off the field. And uh, let's see what the Ravens did to shut down C.J. Stroud on money down. All right, let's get into this film. First of all, welcome back. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the eight plays that the Baltimore Ravens stopped the Houston Texans on third down. Let's see what the Ravens did to, to negate them and shut down their what was becoming a prolific offense. Because C.J. Stroud, even though we beat him, that he's a guy. <laughs> he's going to be a guy for a while. And if they had Tank Dale and some of the other guys back, they would have had a little bit more firepower, but they didn't. So it's playoffs. Being healthy is, is part of it. So this is the situation. It's third and 10 from the Houston 25-yard line, and it's going to be C.J. Stroud's going to scramble for seven yards. So now you see at the last minute, Queen's coming on the blitz, and Roquan's going to drop out. So again, remember I always say that what you see pre-snap is not what you're going to see post-snap. And I think the rest of the DBs are just playing the sticks. Ball snap. And you'll kind of see them guys just kind of hover. They just kind of hover. They, they, they're all in different spots, but they're just hovering around the sticks. And Roquan dropped in, into what would have been the quick, the quick spot for the quick hot. And right, CJ really has nowhere to go. And the pressure's getting to him. You can see the rush. Let's see who that is winning up there. That's Queen. The linebacker, I'm sorry, the running back kind of missed Queen. So he's getting the pressure on CJ, forcing him out the pocket. And at this point, we just come up and make the tackle. And then just changing the looks up too and never letting him get comfortable pre-snap. Your pre-snap read would never be your post-snap read dealing with the Ravens. Second play. It's third and 21 from the Baltimore 47. Um, it's going to be an incomplete pass to Nico Collins. Nico's at the bottom of your screen. Pre-snap read, it looked like cover two. It looks like cover two. But post-snap, that's not what you get. If I'm not mistaken, and some of the defensive gurus can help me, I think this is cover four. It's cover four. And because, because Darby is not threatened anywhere in this area, he's not threatened anywhere in this area, it turns into man for him. So he has to man up on Nico Collins on that outside over there. And he's not in bad position. Not in bad position. It would have been a tough catch had he thrown it accurately. But great great coverage by, by Ronald Darby, who played an excellent game, if, if I may say so myself. Played an excellent game. Kind of got turned around just a little bit, but recovered right in phase. He recovered right in phase. Great coverage by Darby. Great coverage. Next situation. It's third and 13 from the 32-yard line. C.J. Stroud passed incomplete pass to Nico Collins again. And again, Nico was that guy. So I, I understand why he's throwing to him, especially with Tank Dale being out. Nico had been having uh, incredible games the past couple weeks. So you got to hit your hot hand. They're giving us a trips look. And now we showing blitz. Showing blitz. But not, you only get a four-man rush. You only get a four-man rush. You got three deep, four under. At this point right here, I'm going to be honest with you. 
If I'm a quarterback, I'd be confused too. Because I'm looking at this. Is it cover two? Maybe. Definitely not cover four. But if I'm not mistaken, Brandon Stevens is going to chase the chase the guy coming coming down the uh, line right here. I think Brandon Stevens is chasing this guy. So if that's the case, it's, it's some kind of man. But at this point, I'd be confused too. And so at this point, it ends up being like cover two, but it's like it's this is what I this is what I think I see. This is what I think I see. And we'll get to the pass off in a minute. I think I see zone up a uh, man up here. Queen had the back. Brandon Stevens had Nico Collins. And then all these guys around here playing, playing zone. That's what I think I got. So it's a split coverage. But I as a quarterback, I'd be like, what the heck is going on? As a quarterback. Because it's still nobody's really open. And he's being flustered out of the pocket already. So, Mike McDonald is just crazy. Now, but again, watch the pass off. That's what I'm talking about. The pass off right here in the middle of your screen. Watch them pass it off in the middle of the field. Dropping with his eyes on it. He passes him off right to the safety and the safety picks him up. And Roquan just checking to make sure he did. That's great communication right there. I think that's Roquan. Yeah, that's Roquan. Passing number 86 or 85 or whatever it is in the middle of the field. Marcus picks him up. He gets his head around to make sure it's done. And he goes to the next guy. It's a great, great job of communication. And again, nobody open. Nobody open. Not a soul. Not open. Not open. Not open. Not open. Maybe. But at this point, he on the run. He would have to throw across his body. And you got six folk Kyle Hamilton lurking back there. Sticky coverage on top of getting pressure up front. That's a recipe for success. You only rush four. Only rush four. So that wasn't even a blitz, and you still confused them. Next play. Third and one. And then we talked about this earlier in another video, so we ain't going to stay too long on it. Calvin Noah is going to shift inside, and Tunsil is going to communicate to the guard to pick him up, but the guard doesn't. They know it come in and make the tackle for a uh, zero-yard gain on third and one. But we've talked about that, you know, at length on another video. So I'll keep it going. Next one. Third and eight from the Baltimore 29. This is one of the few times they got even close to the red zone. Because keep in mind, they didn't officially step their foot inside the red zone this game at all. You got, you got Queen coming. You're going to get a little stunt because Queen going to try to take out the center. Uh, I think this is Travis Jones. He gonna st Travis Jones or whoever the defensive tackle is is going to loop behind him, and Roquan is going to try to drop out and take away the hot. That's not Roquan. That's Calvin Noah. Calvin Noah is going to drop out and try to take away the hot. So anything shallow coming across, Kyle's trying to catch it and hit him. But all, all the plays went out. I'm sorry, all the receivers went out, went opposite of him, so he really didn't have anybody to cover. And you see Kyle already breaking on a little quick route. So they ran this and threw it well short. They're throwing this ball four yards short of the sticks. So all we have to do is just make the tackle. And then he didn't complete it anyway. But again, he getting pressure. Queen coming in and taking the center out. Travis Jones is looping right off of him free. Now, we're getting so much pressure on him that he's seeing goals right now. Because he's not pressured. He's just trying to force this ball out fast. And we're playing cover one. Simple cover one behind it. Your, your deep safety is going to be Marcus Williams. You're going to see him because it looked like cover two. Remember I tell you what you see pre-snap is not what you're going to get post-snap. It looks like cover two or some kind of shell. Marcus is going to shoot there. But Noah's going to try to kind of hold the middle and everybody else is going to be in man. So you're getting cover one look, but what it looks like is cover two front and front. And it almost looked like the first play when I said everybody was playing the sticks. It almost looked like that, but it don't. So you got two different situations where pre-snap it looks the same and post-snap has been something different both times. Go to the next one. So this situation is third and 15 from the Baltimore 44. And the result is CJ Stroud pass right to Dalton Schultz for one yard. So again, you get a two high shell, you get a guy in motion. So normally when you send somebody in motion, you're looking for information. Nobody moves, so they think in zone. Which it is zone. And I think we just play straight cover two on this one. I think this is a legit cover two. Darby's forcing that guy in. Everybody else is underneath. And again, he got it out early because of the pressure. Look at the pressure on the back end. 
You got Matter BK winning. Who is that winning up front? You got Matter BK winning. You got Van Noy on the stunt. This, look at this twist between Van, uh, Van Noy and Matter BK. Van Noy's going to take that gap. Matter BK is going to come right off his butt. See it? Right off his butt. And Van Noy just plows through it. Van Noy's really not even supposed to get pressure. Van Noy's really just a decoy on that. Matter BK is the one supposed to get the pressure. But he came straight through almost, and Tunsil did nothing to him. So now Van Noy has immediate pressure and CJ Stroud got to bail out. He got to bail out with all his, most of his receivers, the opposite side he's bailing out from. So he just got to dump it off. And we just came up and made the tackle. Queen and, and, and Darby, I think, made the tackle. Good team defense, man. Great team defense. Next situation, third and five from the Houston 30. Uh, Stroud incomplete to Robert Woods. And what's going to happen here is CJ is going to be looking around and he's going to be trying to analyze the, the defense. And he sees a cover two shell. So the last time CJ looks around, Marlette's going to start to cheat inside and he's going to time it and CJ w won't even know he's coming. To combat that, to confuse the O-line, Matter BK and Travis Jones going to jump out. I'm sorry, drop out. But the thing is, pre-snap, though that guard, that tackle, guard and center has to account for Jones and Matter BK. And that's why you get to overload the right side. So let's play it. Everybody else in man to man. See, see Marlette just slide down there? The uh, CJ never even looked at him, never even saw him. All right, now see your center. It's the center and these two guys right here. The center, the guard in the center, they have to account for Travis Jones and Matter BK. So they're not part of protection. So with that being said, with them accounting for those two, now you got a numbers advantage on this side. You got one, two, three versus two. Because they're going to go touch the center, they're going to go touch the defender, then drop out. At this point, it's too late because you got to account for them because they're on the line. And Marlette comes scot free, which forces the pressure. And we didn't get a sack. But again, everybody covered. So who's, who's open? Even on this scramble drill, even though Marlette missed the sack, who's open? You got Matter BK in that window. Travis Jones in this window, not really a factor, but everybody else sticked up. Great coverage by everybody else. Great, even in scramble drill, you just plaster. And you just got to throw it away. I mean, I'm telling you, Mike McDonald's a, a freaking mad scientist. And the last one. Third and 19. And again, look how look at these down the distances. Third and 19, third and 17, third and 21. Hey, you really ain't seen very many third and mediums. You saw that one third and one that we stopped them on. But these have been third and long distances, which means we win it on first and second down. Yes, you're only going to get a four-man rush. You get a little stunt by Oway. But again, at, at this point, even though you know they protected it fairly well, because it's third and 19, everybody's, look at all these people back here by the sticks. One, he underneath, by the sticks, by the sticks, sticks, sticks. Darby waiting to. Look how many people we got back there just, we don't even care about these check downs. Throw the check down. We don't care at this point. We just come up and make the tackle, which is good. Because you got, you you worked on first and second down to get them in this situation to make third down easy for you. And they just dropped it off, and we just got to make the tackle. You don't want Brandon Stevens to miss that, but still. Tackle done, fourth down. So I really just wanted to, you know, show you guys how we stopped them on the third downs and show you the situations we had them in and all the different stuff that Mike McDonald employs in his defense. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be more of the same this week. He's going to have to bring, get deep in his bag to confuse Mahomes because Mahomes is a little more seasoned than CJ. And so really, whatever you see pre-snap, it's not what you're going to see post-snap. And keep that in mind when watching the game uh, Sunday at 3 o'clock. And hopefully you'll be watching it here with me at, on the watch along and the watch party. So that's all I got for you. I appreciate you guys for coming through. If you have not liked the video, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop. And remember the motto, it's FTML because the film don't lie. Unlike some people. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love.